today is February 23rd. We have a fun project going on on our hunting land today. We are expanding our main central food source. I have a mulcher of a buddy of mine. He's coming up and doing some work for me. We are really gonna expand this area. I'm hoping what it does is it puts the bedding. They're gonna bed where they always are, where they always do. Bring them more towards the south and east away from the western part where we have a lot of hunting pressure and away from the far northern end of our property where we do have a lot of hunting pressure as well so if we can get them to come into this food plot or focus on this food plot before they head out to our bean field that is going to keep them on our property longer or at least until dark so that's that's the plan um, this food plot has been a good food plot for us i've shot a 160 out of it I shot a nice big eight point out of it last year, so it's already produced some good bucks, but I definitely think this right here is gonna be a game changer for us come next next season. So I'm gonna kinda spin the camera around and I'm gonna show you the before and after. I'm going to wipe out all of that, expand that to the south further. This entire thicket here that leads right up to the gravel pit is gonna be gone where we're gonna utilize that gravel pit to get in and out. So that is gonna be all open. They planted in probably a winter cereal rye this fall. I like using that just to enhance the soil. And then the next spring, I'll probably go through and I'll frost eat a bunch of clover, chicory, stuff like that in it. All right, so I'm on my way back to where we first started. This spot was all overgrown between bush honeysuckle autumn olive and then covered in kudzu which is awesome if you've ever experienced kudzu you know what i'm talking about this stuff is nasty so this is the end result so this used to be all thick autumn olive bush honeysuckle and covered in kudzu on top what a crappy recipe for deer hunting so we got rid of this made this bigger a lot of the bigger stuff i'm going to cut down Starting tomorrow, I'm going to chainsaw it, spray some tordon, kill it, and then next winter I'll come up and I will burn the stumps out. Today is May 6th. We are getting ready to plant. Today we are planting beans. I got this tall grass screen. So the screen's going to go around the edge of the food plots. That way we can get in and out. And then we have the uh, beans that I'm going to plant in our back pasture this year. I haven't done it for a few years but I'm gonna get back to it this year. Uh, hopefully it adds to our late season. So I've already got everything sprayed, fertilized. I am hooking up the disc now. I'm gonna disc it all up, seed it. Hopefully we got some rain coming today and a chance tomorrow. So we're gonna get everything hooked up and get to planting. today's project it's June 23rd we are I'm waiting on my buddy uh, to get here with the dozer it's actually the continuation project from the mulching that we did back in February uh, he's gonna go up and expand two food plots and then make a third one hoping that focusing on putting more food more water more scrapes everything to the south it'll get them to bed in our timber but then head south instead of heading north one plot will be probably half acre another one we're gonna be expanding and it'll end up being about three acres when we get done that one I'll actually divide with tall grass and we'll do clover beans winter cereal rye something like that some kind of a combination and have grass blocking where you can't see what's into the next food plot and then the last one right now it's only about a quarter of an acre I'm hoping to double that one as well and then dig a water hole Put a water tank in there so we'll have three new or bigger food plots on the south end of our timber hopefully continue to get them to head south and after they hit those food plots head to the bean fields and the major crop fields at night so then we can slip out we'll get going and hopefully we get done this weekend and get everything planted and get some rain and get some stuff growing so we will uh we'll get going here as soon as it gets here Tomorrow, a little bit tomorrow during the day, but mainly hitting tomorrow. 
tomorrow night is a major rainstorm coming in. Uh, they're talking inches of rain could be dumped on us. So we haven't had a sizable, measurable rain since I think it's 4th of July weekend. So a month now. Uh, my clover food plots are looking rough. My tall grass is kind of plateaued in some spots at only six feet tall. So this rain could be what makes the deer season. So today I decided after work, I'm going to rush home, pick up a bunch of fertilizer first thing this morning. Um, I'm gonna fertilize these plots, I'm gonna give them a disc. And then tomorrow I'm going to sprint home from work and then get my food plot seed onto the ground. That way the rain can knock it down. So the plan is, have about four acres that needs planted, but in front of each line is about a nice half acre spot. So I have clover, chicory um, going right in front of the line. Uh, then in, on Labor Day weekend, I'm going to seed some oats over over the spot on the plot that I did plant the clover and chicory. Then when I get back from Colorado for my elk hunt, I'm going to I'm going to seed uh, the winter cereal rye over the entire plot. Uh, that way we've got clover, chicken hopefully growing, we've got oats growing, and then hopefully we get that winter cereal rye taken off for a late season. I've had really good luck with that stuff. Um, that stuff has really came through and helped me out on the drought years. So. That's the game plan, so today, right now, I am at one spot that we have bulldozed. I'm um, getting ready to just throw some fertilizer down, and then we're going to go up to the draw where we have bulldozed, see a bunch of fertilizer there, and I'm going to disc it all in. So that's the plan for today. So and then, like I said, we'll rush back tomorrow and see if we can get it all seated before the rain comes in. So we got a couple hours worth of work to do. Hopefully get it all done before it gets dark. Just finished up disc in this uh, part of this food plot that we had bulldozed earlier. So up in front of me is what we're going to put into clover, chicory, and then I'll overseed it into winter rye. And then to my west, I'm going to plant all of that into oats and then overseed that again with the winter cereal rye. So um, right now I'm just focused on getting the clover and the chicory going. Um, Labor Day weekend we will do the uh, We'll do the oats, and then the end of September, when I get back from Colorado, we'll be doing the winter cereal rye. So I'm gonna turn around. This is, I'm right now standing in the blind. So what I have in front of me is exactly what's gonna be in the clover and chicory. So I'll get that planted. Back that way is gonna be the oats winter cereal rye build up that soil um, and then I'll frost seed all of that come February, March. And I'll probably end up frost seeding that again as well um, into the more clover. So here is, I'm right now at nine feet to the base of this platform. And as you can see, this grass is definitely well above it. So we'll be able to slip right up this ladder, being protected, head out that way. I got a path to cut through that little strip of timber and get in and out of here without hopefully too much seeing us so at least that's that's the plan um so got a rain coming tomorrow gonna get out of work as soon as i can and head back up here to get this seated so we got fertilized dished up the best that i could um with how dry it is that disc had a had a hard time getting through there so we'll get out of work tomorrow come back up see the best that we can and pray that this rain that they're forecasting actually does happen so it's been dry so if we get this rain up this this spot's gonna be killer somebody will kill a big buck out of this spot um, I'm gonna have a scrape come out of there a scrape tree I'm gonna put another one right there be about a 15 yard shot I have another one halfway through this spot 
and then I'll have another one where this plot exits out into the bean field. And then coming from that direction is the gravel pit food plot that has a scrape. So hopefully they will work these scrapes, making their way through here, heading out that direction. I slip out the back. So really just need a west wind, northwest wind, west northwest wind, blow me up and over the gravel pit. And it should be killer. So should be able to get to this spot. Uh, I think with this grass, we should be able to even get into the, in the morning some. So I do have, you can see, a little bit of grass growing behind this tree. I need that rain to come in to get that stuff to grow. So that way the deer, when they're in this side, can't see what's going on over here. So to make them have to come through this entire plot, I left this spot open. So that way they'll feed through there, hit that scrape, and head on out. And I do have a water hole can't hardly see it but i do have a water hole sitting right about there so we have a water hole there i have a pond where those trees are so we have food we have water cover scrapes we'll have everything up here so this should be a pretty dynamite spot i'm pretty excited about it so we'll pray for that rain tomorrow get it seeded should be good to go So this great post is now set. Now I'm gonna take a, it's just a flagpole holder that I, uh, I got off Amazon. So I screw that in. And next weekend, I'm gonna try to get all my cell cams activated. Get a cell cam up here facing on this scrape. So hopefully we'll start getting some pictures of some bucks hitting some scrapes. Come October, November, this is gonna be a hot spot. So I'm gonna turn you around so you can kind of see what it's gonna look like. The scrape's gonna be right here. We're gonna have about a 15, 20 yard shot. So. Hopefully it turns out all right. We'll see. 
last night. I'm going to kind of do my recap now. I wasn't able to do a recap in the blind. I had too many deer around me. Uh, so I really wasn't able to close out that hunt on film. Uh, the buck I was after. I got pictures of him. Three, four hundred yards away coming out of the bedding area. He hit one of the scrapes that I set. He was walking up the logging road to me. Came into a small food plot where I'm sitting tonight. Fed out in it for a little while. Finally got on the logging road. <clears throat> and made his way to my to my food plot. He made a scrape on my scrape tree about 50 yards away. And I was coming in perfect. He got 40 yards from me. And was quartering at me because he was walking towards me. And all of a sudden, a coyote started yipping and howling just inside the timber. So the does that walked past me, they took off running. He then got nervous, lifted his head up, stared into the timber before he trotted off into the food plot. So it was an exciting first night. Tonight is actually a little cooler than last night. And also not near as windy. It's 12, 13 mile an hour breeze. Uh, so I'm hoping that gets him up and moving as well a little bit earlier. So I know before I got out of my stand of the blind last night, I was able to see some deer moving in that food plot away from me to the west. So they weren't too spooked. I don't know if it was him or not. I couldn't tell, but they weren't too spooked. So just hoping he does the same thing will come into this food plot. So we'll see. Chances are he'll probably walk in front of the food plot that I was at last night, but I'm excited to be up in this spot. It's a pretty cool spot. We've killed a lot of big bucks here. Um, so I'm just going to kind of sit back and hopefully he comes out, maybe even a little earlier tonight, and we can get a good shot on him. I sat in the rain for the last hour, but it's finally moved off. A little after five, sit down here on this creek bottom. I have a pond behind me. Cold front coming in. It's supposed to be colder tomorrow and Sunday, so those two days should be good. So I sit back and hopefully have some deer moving here pretty soon and maybe a crack a big buck. It's October 14th. It's about 55 degrees and we're hunting over a cold Some rain coming in right at the last little bit of the hunt, so 
Hopefully they get up and move before that. We can get one, get one down before the rain comes in. Today will be, this afternoon will probably be it for me this weekend, but then I can hunt most of next week, so which should be good. So if we don't get it done today, I have high hopes for next week to get it down, before, get something down before the rain. So we'll see, it should be a good night. So we're gonna sit back and uh, hopefully the action picks up here pretty soon. start tracking him. Uh, it's raining, so I'm gonna see if I can get on him quick. Hopefully he's just right up here. I'm I'm sure I smoked him. I'm trying to film this with the GoPro since it's raining pretty good. Yeah there's blood. Blood right there. He's right there. He didn't go anywhere. Oh man. Yeah, he didn't go anywhere. Oh, he went 40 yards. buck I was lucky enough to kill last night. Uh, I wasn't able to get a good recovery video right after I shot him. The rain really started picking up so I was able to get a little bit on my GoPro. Luckily he only went about 40 yards. So my main thought last night was to try to find him and get him out without messing too much up since we do have another big cold front coming in and I'd like to have my brother have some good sits. So really wanted to make sure I got in and out as quiet as I could. Uh, I think I was able to do, to do that pretty well. So. Here he is, so hopefully we can continue to have a few more good hunts, maybe get my wife a deer, start filming her a little bit, film my brother some, and look forward to the late season when usually our deer hunt really picks up then. So I'm happy to get one down before the rut, and we'll keep, keep hunting and filming, and hopefully we'll be able to bring out another one before the season ends.
saw that was with that doe. The last time I saw him, he was chasing her up this direction, and all those other bucks were kind of coming up this way as well. So what we're hoping is maybe either he loses her, or one of those other two bucks that I saw that be going for Kelsey to shoot will make their way to this food pond looking for a hot doe. So hopefully something like that will happen. They are right now down the ridge to the east of us. We got north and northwest winds of the winds perfect. So hopefully here in about an hour or so they'll start moving and maybe we get one of those bucks to come in. Her favorite part is snack time. It's the only way I can get her to come out here with me.
So this is Goober. Um, he's a deer that we started seeing this summer. Um, as you can see, his left side um, grew kind of goofy, which is why we called him Goober. And his right side never really did anything. Last night, uh, he came out. We got him to about 20, 22 yards, and I was able to put a good shot on him. And yeah, so he went about uh, 25 yards and then dash into the timber a little bit and, and died there so we didn't really mess anything up and now we get to take a little bit of a break and wait till late season <laughs> 